macOS Catalina is here. It brings a ton of awesome and very welcome improvements, but there are also many issues that come along with this update. Should you get this version now or wait until it has more updates later on? In this video, I'm gonna explain some of the issues I'm having with macOS Catalina. That way you should know if you might have issues as well. I'm not hating on macOS Catalina. There's a ton of really cool features and I really like that. But for me, a lot of things were broken and a lot of unnecessary time spent trying to get everything working. On my desktop, after I turned the computer back on, there was a folder called Relocated Items. It included different libraries and programs that were previously installed and stored in a location that is not safe anymore on macOS and they have been removed. And that mainly consists of a program called Anaconda Navigator. This is an IDE that you use to develop code in Python and I use it pretty often and it was in that folder, meaning that it was previously installed by the installer in a location that can no longer be used by macOS as an install location. So I tried to launch the app and it wouldn't work, it no longer existed in my launch pad at all. So I went to download the update and then reinstall the program and halfway through the installation, it failed, it could not install. So not only did it get relocated, but the installer is still trying to install in an incorrect location, meaning that I was kind of out of luck until the developers updated that program. Now I was able to install it through the command line and actually get it to launch and work. So that was fixed and updated. Next was Visual Studio Code. This is actually a lot of programming and developer tools that have really got messed up for me. So in C, all of the libraries like the STDIO and the STDlib, those are all missing. And the version of Xcode, which was the latest version at the time, um, was updated and installed, but for some reason it wasn't um, importing all the developer tools. So I actually had to go through the command line and reinstall the developer tools, and then that finally worked. Now my third problem I'm having is with the update of Xcode. So it actually came with an update and I am trying to install it and it keeps saying that it could not be accessed from the app store and it keeps failing. So it downloads the two gigabyte update and then it restarts and re-downloads the whole seven gigabyte app. Then once it starts to install, about halfway through installing, it says that it's failed. It can't access the download from the app store. It doesn't exist or whatever. And I have to restart this whole process all over again. I've done that three times and I'm still not on the latest version of Xcode. Kind of disappointing. Problem number four, all of the apps have been reorganized on my launch pad. I mean, it's not an issue, but I like my app layout. So now I've got five pages of randomly organized junk that, I don't know, it's kind of annoying. There's like a whole page of all of Apple's brand new apps like music, shows, podcasts, TV. It's a whole bunch of weird stuff on there. So that was kind of frustrating. A uh, fifth problem is system preferences. So inside of security, um, there I have an app called Bartender that manages the, the top of bar and it was telling me to re-enable the accessibility options and it was already checked. So I just unlocked the lock and I tried to uncheck it and it would not uncheck. So it turned out there was an update for Bartender. I got that and then it told me again to update the security stuff. So I did that and it was still not responding to the clicking. So I actually had to remove the app from the list, re-add it, and then it worked. So kind of weird. And even still, I still can't uncheck any apps. So that's odd as well. And my final issue is that in Finder on the sidebar, um, you have like all of your quick links to your different folders and stuff. Half of them were actually broken. They did no longer exist. So Apple must have changed the path on some of these. So actually I had to go into the preferences and just disable them and re-enable them and then the link and path updated, but um, that was pretty weird. So should you get this update? Well, if you're using a computer for basic web browsing and email stuff, if you don't have any special programs really installed on the computer. I think you should be pretty good. There should be no problem with the update. There may be a few weird things like what I just talked about with Finder and System Preferences and Launchpad. But if you're doing a lot of developer tools, they have really changed a lot of stuff and it's not working very well. I haven't been able to get it to, to work. So for me, it is stable enough with my developer tools 
but I don't know the status of any of the other software that I don't use as often. I haven't tested everything. Seems like Adobe's suite still works, but I am not entirely confident that everything is going to work perfectly right out of the box. So for that reason, I'm not updating my production machines. So that includes my Mac Pro that I edit these videos on, that includes our Mac Pro render machine, that includes our Mac mini server. None of those things are getting updated anytime soon, especially right now because we're in the middle of a post-production on our documentary. Everything's working good right now. I'm not going to risk any of that. So as for now, I am not going to update my machines. Several other professionals are not updating their machines as well. And there's a lot of discussion about that. But if you're a normal user, I think you should have no problems. So, yep, there you go. If you want to get the update, it will be in the App Store. And that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what your experience has been, if you have no issues or what issues you're having. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with that Tech, and I will see you in the next one.